Hello and good morning. This is Val. This shoe box that I am unboxing today is for a boy in the age range of two to four. And it has a theme, a PJ Masks theme. And I packed it in this plastic Operation Christmas Child shoe box. And so let me show you what I packed. Um, I did not um, decorate the lid on this one like I usually do, but right on top, um, he has a semi-decorated little whiteboard or dry erase board. A while back in a haul video, I showed a five-piece package of um, large, thick cardboard dry erase boards that I got for a dollar. Um, and I cut one in half so it would fit in the box. And then I sanded it down on the side that I cut with a sanding block. And then I covered that edge with washi tape. Um, and then I um, adhered um, a piece of um, packaging that I fussy cut down out of that packaging um, of the PJ Masks characters. And I actually do know these characters' names. Um, it's uh, the red one is Owlette, and she um, is, and she's a girl. Catboy is the blue character, and Gecko is the green character. And this side is just white for drawing and writing. And then the flip side has lines, um, so this little boy can practice writing. Um, his letters and numbers and because I have this in here. I didn't include one of those um, play mat slash dry erase mats that I um, usually include that I make um, So in the box I have a t-shirt. I packed a t-shirt. It's a PJ masks t-shirt I got this from Amazon and um, it is a size 5t I love this shirt because it has the large um, images of the characters and um, the blue and red and green colors. Um, he has this cat boy stuffy. I got that at five below. And he has a blue washcloth. He has some dry erase markers to use with his dry erase um, whiteboard. And he has a bar of soap. And he has a little tote bag. It folds up nicely into its own little carrying bag with a snap. And I get these um, in a multi-pack at Amazon. Um, I put just one pair of underwear in here. It's a size 4. I was almost out of size 4 underwear. And this was really the only one I had left. To pack, I was down to just a couple pair, um, and I wanted to keep a couple pair that I had for some specific boxes that I have planned. So I went to Walmart, and I fully expected to have to pay full price for a package. And luckily, I found some character underwear on sale for five dollars. And I would have liked to have paid less. One, two, or three dollars would have been nice. But I I bought one package and I hope it lasts um, until I can find some at a better price. Um, he has inside the box, I packed a cup. And inside the cup, I packed this little blippy mobile with a cute character in it. He has um, a, a dual pencil sharpener. And he has a bounce ball. I get those at Hobby Lobby and a multi-pack. He has, inside the box, I packed some um, jumbo Ticonderoga pencils that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I, um, I packed a pair of shoes. And these shoes are what actually inspired this box. I found these um, on clearance at Walmart for $2. And I also found um, on clearance at Walmart some PJ Masks figurines and stickers that came in a set. And so I had I knew I had a coloring book at home and um, a little play pack. So I thought, well, I have a theme here. So then I purchased the t-shirt from Amazon and the stuffy from Five Below. And that's how I came up with my PJ Masks theme. And he um 
he has a pair of socks that I tucked inside the shoes, and they're blue and green in color to match the other items um, in the box. And he has a dry erase eraser, um, and he has from, um, well, he's got some, just some uh, pencil, pencil um, cap erasers. Um, one is green and one is blue. They're just little Christmas erasers. Um, he has um, from Five Below this silicone bracelet. Um, I got these in a four pack on clearance. Um, and it has a Lion King character on it. And so I think this little boy will will love wearing that. Um, he has um, a set of five um, PJ Masks character stickers um, that came also with some PJ Masks figurines. And this was the set that I got in clearance at Walmart. These stickers um, came in their own little individual plastic packaging um, which has some re residue on them, and they're kind of sticking together. So I'm probably going to take them out of um, this packaging and put them in some other little baggie. And um, he's got five of those. He has a lot of stickers in this box. Um, and so he also has, that came with the set, some little PJ Masks figurines. Um, these first few are not the actual PJ Masks characters, but they're related characters um, in the theme. And so there are several of those. And then also in this shoe, he has um, just a little, a little whistle. And then in the other shoe, um, that's where I tucked in his toothbrush, which is blue and red in color to go with the colors in the box. It's Thomas the Tank Engine toothbrush from Dollar Tree. And he has the actual PJ Masks figurines. He's got Catboy and Owlette. And the last one is Gecko. And he has a lip whistle for fun. And he has um, a little comb. And so those are his PJ Masks shoes. He has some green scissors. This is a fun item. Um, it's an airplane spoon. Um, I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. So he can play with it um, like an airplane. And then he can also use it um, to eat with. So it's fun and practical. A glue stick wrapped in plastic in case there's a melting issue. And then inside this um, little case... He has eight Crayola Jumbo Crayons. Um, it came in a, um, they came in a larger pack, and I divided them up into two packs. There were 16. Um, and so in this pack, I included the classic colors, just the primary classic colors. And so those are his crayons. And then he also has a pencil pouch um to put all of his school supplies in um and so i got um i got this from amazon and it has a little pouch in the front um i think it's supposed to be like for a little name card but i tucked in a little four inch ruler um that has you know inches and centimeters um it fits real nicely inside that little pouch in the front and so in addition to the Ticonderoga pencils, I put in some novelty pencils um, with two of them sharpened. He has Toy Story and Space and then one more. And he has um, some more PJ Masks stickers. Um, I went ahead and put the whole booklet in. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby. They have several pages, and he, this little boy should have a lot of fun with them, and they should last a while. He has um, a PJ Masks Easy Reader book with large pictures, so he can get to know the characters um, by looking at the pictures. And um, inside, I tucked 
in these three paper masks, one of each of the characters. Um, it wouldn't be a good and complete PJ mask box if he um, didn't have the masks. Um, <laughs> Um, so he's got the Owlette mask and Gecko. He's got a Gecko mask. And he has a Catboy mask. So I included uh, a piece of the packaging um, so that he can see that these are the character masks and that he can put them on um, to look like the PJ Masks characters. I included this um, this paper um, paper pad that just has blank white paper for drawing and coloring and putting his stickers in. And um, I have a blue click pen. I got these in a package of colored click pens um, on clearance at Big Lots. He has a composition book. It's wide ruled, uh, 50 cents at Walmart. Um, he has it's um, a PJ Masks uh, coloring book, and he has a mini recorder that I got from Hobby Lobby in a multi pack. He has um, a little PJ Masks play pack. Um, I got these, um, I believe, on clearance at Five Below. There were several in a package, and they were half price. Um, it has pop-out characters, cardboard characters with a couple of markers to color the characters. And he has these shaped crayons. They're shaped like uh, dolphins. Um, I have several of these, and I always forget about them, so I'm going to try to package them up. And I just cut out a piece of the packaging and included it in the baggie so he knows that these are colors that he can actually color with. And I just put um, um, a note with a fo family photo that I laminated. And that is my PJ Masks box. And so if you saw something you liked, I hope you'll hit the like button um, and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll leave a comment. I'd love to hear how your package is, go is going. There's only two months till collection week, so we're getting down to the wire here. And I am doing pretty well, I think, with my packing. Um, my goal is to pack 100 boxes, and I've packed 75 so far. So I have 24 or 25 more to go. And I did the same thing last year. I was lagging a little bit behind. And then a couple weeks before collection week, I actually came down with COVID. Um, it was a mild case, so I was able to just keep packing and finish my boxes. Um, I wasn't, because I was quarantined though, I wasn't able to go out to shop for anything that I might have needed. Um, and I was taking care of my husband because he also had COVID. And he had a more severe case and he was sick in bed for a week. So, you know, I had to take care of him. But, um, and then I couldn't deliver my boxes to the collection site until the very last day of collections um, because I was quarantined until then. And then um, when I did finally deliver them, though, um, all the volunteers at the collection site, they're great there. And they came out and they unloaded all of the boxes out of my bo out of my car. And so I just sat in the front seat all masked up and I didn't have any contact with anybody and all was well. Everybody was safe. And so that was good. But and I'm not expecting to get COVID <laughs> um, again, um, but I try to keep up with my package packing because you never know what might come up and so I'd love to hear your story I'd love to hear how your packing is going and um so um until next time bye for now <laughs>